In this video, I want to show you how the electronic filing system works with the IRS and the state of California. And so keep in mind that this is our software that we use, LACERT, but the principles that we're going to talk about, again, are, are quite applicable no matter what tax software that you're using. So I just want to give you some basic ideas of how electronic filing works. And also, one of the reasons why people like electronic filing so much is because the tax refunds are processed more quickly than by paper mail. And another thing to note right here before we get started is that for any tax preparer or company that files more than 100 tax returns per year, the IRS now requires electronic filing and the state of California also requires electronic filing. So the bottom line here is that the great majority of tax returns that you file these days are going to be sent electronically okay so not by paper mail but electronically filed so it's important to know how electronic filing process actually works and let's look at that right now so we're in our uh, test account okay test account and the first thing that you need to do whenever you're electronically filing is just identify that you are going to electronically file federal and california okay and then also for the wages in order for an electronically filed return to be processed by the IRS in the state of California, you're going to need certain code numbers which are on the W-2. So in this case, we're just using the, the dummy uh, job, okay? But this EIN number, electron, or employer identification number, that's the federal ID number of the employer, uh, which is on file with the IRS. And then there's also a state ID number that's on file with state of California. So these are just um, fake numbers that I put in to show you how it works, but you do need the real numbers off the taxpayer's W-2 for each job. So if you had job number two, you know, you're going to need a whole set of numbers here, the employer ID number for the federal and also for the state. For the sake of this simple example, let's just stick with the one job. You also need the employer's address, okay? Uh, their city, state, and zip code. Now, without that information, this tax return cannot be electronically filed. So both the IRS and the state require this extra information for electronically filed returns. Now, once you're pretty much done with the return, so let's say this is a simple short form, the person has a salary, uh, you want to use a diagnostics function or some kind of checking function within your tax software to identify if there's anything that you need to fix before you can actually send out the return electronically. So in this case, LACERT has a diagnostic page which tells me I need to check this box. This is the federal uh, signature date and then also the state signature date. And I need to check that these dates are the same. The taxpayer signed the, ta the e-file permission slip, giving you permission to e-file it, the tax return, on the same day that the tax return was prepared. So again, IRS and state, they want to make sure with electronic filing that the taxpayer has signed off on the return, that they've reviewed the return, right, signed it, and that's what gives you permission to then electronically file the return. The actual forms that need to be signed are the 8879. So this is the federal form. It's a, a, in a e file signature authorization. So by the taxpayer signing this form, the 8879 right here, that gives you permission to e file the federal return. For the state, there's a very similar form, also called the 8879, the state version. And again, this is e-file signature authorization. So when the taxpayer signs here and puts the date, that means that you are officially allowed by that taxpayer and authorized to electronically file the return. So in this case, the test account file seems pretty ready to go. So we would go over here, highlight the file. This may be a process a little bit different in your tax software, but probably pretty similar. You want to highlight the file, go to electronic filing, send. In this case, I've already sent it, but I just want to show you the process here. Okay, next, send e-file now. Now the, your software is going to communicate, and it's going to say, 
whether it's been sent or not. So in this case, see, it says it's already been sent. So there's communication in your tax software between the IRS and the state of California and your actual ta tax software. So when you press send, that's going to electronically transmit the tax return to the tax authorities. And then on the other side of that, you need to come down here and the IRS and the state of California, they send what's called an acknowledgement. And again, this is all electronic. So you want to, after you, about 24 to 48 hours after you send the return, you would need to check with the IRS and the state. And again, there's this communication process it says no new acknowledgements received. So let's say that the tax return was accepted. The acknowledgement is going to update. See how these are accepted, federal and state? The acknowledgement updates whether the tax return has been accepted by the federal and by the state. Okay? So that's basically the process of how you electronically file a tax return. This is obviously particular to our software, okay? But I just want to give you an overall idea of how electronic filing works at a basic level. It's similar to an email or any kind of file transfer where you are sending a, a secure file, the tax return, electronically to the federal and the state. And then in return, once they receive that, they're going to accept or in some cases reject that file. Okay, so say there's a different social security number that's not correct, you're going to need to fix that and retransmit it. So that's your basic tutorial on how electronic filing works. This is definitely something that as you actually start doing taxes and filing uh, returns electronically, you'll have experience with and, and you'll know the ins and outs of much better. But this should give you a basic idea of how the system works. And overall, it's definitely a very good system and uh, much preferable in our opinion to sending in paper mail tax returns.